There's quiet in the firing room now as the engineers and technicians are monitoring their consoles. They're monitoring the various rates, pressures, temperatures. They can override the terminal sequencer if they uh, cite a problem that it has not picked up. We are on that terminal sequencer now. We've passed the three-minute mark, T-minus two minutes, 47 seconds, and counting as we are on the terminal sequencer. At the T-minus 50-second mark, we'll be looking for that critical power transfer. This is where we transfer from the external power source, which has been feeding the three stages of the launch vehicle, to internal power. That's to the flight batteries uh, aboard the space vehicle. It's expected that uh, given proper weather conditions, people will be observing this flight from as much as 500 miles away. This includes a large portion of the southeastern United States, the northern tip of Cuba, and the Bahama Islands. Now approaching the two minutes, two minute mark. Mark, T minus two minutes and counting, and the countdown continues to move along smoothly. The automatic sequencer has stopped the replenishing of the liquid oxygen and the liquid hydrogen. We're standing by uh, now to begin pressurization of the fuel tanks, the second stage fuel tank pressurized, third stage fuel tank pressurized. The countdown continuing to move along smoothly, T minus 90 seconds. T minus 90 seconds, countdown continuing smoothly. S4B propellants uh, pressurized, the indication now using the workaround showing the S4B propellants have been pressurized. Now looking at the liquid hydrogen tanks as uh, they become pressurized, LH2 aboard the second stage pressurized. All propellants now aboard the second stage pressurized as we approach the one minute mark in the countdown. Mark T minus one minute and counting. Now in the final minute of the countdown. At T minus 45 seconds, Gene Cernan will make the final guidance alignment. This is the uh, mark T minus 45 and Gene Cernan made that final guidance alignment. That's the last action taken by the crew aboard the space vehicle. Now approaching the half minute mark. T minus 33, T minus 30 seconds and continuing on now, continuing on at the T minus 26 second mark, T minus 25. We'll get a final guidance uh, release at the T minus 17 second mark. T minus 17, final guidance release. We'll expect engine ignition at 8.9 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, Ignition sequence started. All engines are started. We have ignition. Two, one, zero. We have a liftoff. We have a liftoff and it's lighting up the area. It's just like daylight here at Kennedy Space Center as the Saturn V is moving off the pad. It has now cleared the tower. Roger, tower. You're off complete. We're on the roll, Bob. We're being a looking great for us doing all five engines. Okay, babe, it's looking good. Your roll is complete. We are pitching. Okay, babe. Let's check the angle. 30 seconds, we're going up. Man, oh, well. 30 seconds and uh, 17 is go. 17, you're go. Okay, one minute, 68 degrees. Okay. Everything looks great over here, didn't you? Okay. Okay. Stand by for Max. Coming through Max, too. We'll be at 68 degrees. Okay. Gene, stand by for mode one Bravo. Mark, mode one Bravo. Roger, one Bravo, we're going one minute. Gene, you're looking great. Right on the line. Okay, we got the RCS command. Gene, you have feet wet, feet wet. Roger, feet wet. Yeah, this thing shakes like the sun. Yeah, that's max Q. Wait till we get out of max Q. Stay down there, Q meter. Yeah. Okay. Cabin's still looking good. Alpha's PC. 